Welcome to my home. Wet and blustery Wales. It is it literally has not stopped raining. Um, it's actually not that bad wind-wise right now, but they do say it's going to be 45 mile an hour wind. So we may or may not ride today. I'm not usually a fair weather rider, but um, Estrid hates the rain. And when you go up, so it's not too bad in the valley here, but when you go up into the mountains, it gets super blustery and wet. And actually I'd quite like to enjoy my holiday ride rather than it be freezing cold. But the ponies are in the front field, somewhere down there. I don't know if you can even see them. We'll go see them in a bit. We'll see what they're up to. This is where I grew up. This is my parents' house in Wales. There aren't any other horses here um, anymore. I don't know if I would have mentioned that back when we came back from man versus horse, but we used to, my parents used to have horses here. We had a rescue pony here as well, but they sadly all died this year. Um, not like all randomly, but they were all quite old. They were all in their twenties. And instead of leaving one horse by themselves when they'd been in a herd all together, um, one died of natural causes all by itself. Um, and then the other two were put down in their late twenties together in their home where they were used to. So it's only Estrid and Tizzy here at the moment. And for some reason, Estrid is being particularly like clingy. I wanted to take Tizzy out for a ride, but she kept throwing herself at solid objects. So I might not actually take Tizzy out. I might just take Estrid. Um, but we'll see. But in my absence, the tack room has got a little bit messy. So I thought I'd have a little bit of a tack room tidy. Some of this is my stuff that I've bought um, in from the trailer, but a lot of it is just stuff that has accumulated in here. So I might have a little bit of a sort out and a tidy in here and we'll see what happens to the weather and potentially go for a ride. Just as I was about to start tack room tidying, these two monkeys heard me, heard the door. Hello you two. How's it going? How's your little holiday in Welsh wet Wales? Esther's like, I'm out of here. I don't want to go anywhere. You can always tell when she doesn't want to go somewhere. Hey, Wizzle Butt! You would go for a mountain ride, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. This one over there, not as tough as you. Hmm? Yes. It's not food time yet, so. Unlucky, wishful thinking that I was opening that to feed you. Right, enough time wasted. Let's do some tidying. just enough that I can use it and things. So I thought I'd run through what I take with me. So I've got my nighttime riding bits, my light up vest and my head torch, my hat, two pairs of gloves, my boots and chaps. Then I've got both the ponies tack. Then I've got one quarter sheet, one high vis, their grooming kit, a water bucket and a wash down kit. Then I've got buckets with their hoof boots and their leg boots in. And then my little travelling feed room, so I portion out all the feed, that's some soaking there. 
and then a couple of rugs and that's all I take with me when I'm like going somewhere different obviously unless it's a competition you need to take other things but yeah so yeah it's tidy I can walk up and down and I can use it so I think we're gonna brave it like it's still not too windy and if it's super windy tomorrow I will regret not taking the opportunity to go out today so I'm gonna go get Estrid um, we'll tack her up and I will take you for a very wet probably quite windy once we get to the top but hopefully enjoyable nonetheless ride in my home country of Wales up in the Cambrian mountains so let's go let's get Estrid she is not going to be impressed this is what I mean she's become like the worst shaky spiky impatient like a separation anxiety pony and we're trying to like calm it down. She's literally stood right there. There she is. Look at it. Relax, Estrid. Fine. She doesn't get like this at her own yard, and she can't even see Pizzy. I think maybe that makes it worse. So we'll focus on just bringing that down a little bit, and then we'll get on board. Good girl. Relax. Head down. Good girl. Hey, there's no need. You're okay. Head down, no, head down. Good girl, head down. Well done, good girl. See, no, 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 good girl. Relax, good girl, okay. Before we get on, should we see if we can de-escalate this? Ooh, head down, Astrid. Good girl, head down. Good girl, well done. Walk on. Steady. Oh, good girl. Head down. I know, head down. Head down. Good girl. Stand. Head down. Head down. Good girl. Walk on. I think we're de escalating, aren't we? You're much better when you're moving and you've got a job to do, aren't you? Oh, good girl. Head down. Head down. Head down. Good girl. Well done. Okay. Well done. Uh, uh, uh. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good girl. then because of the wet good girl see what I mean as soon as she's got a job and a person on board you're away aren't you it's so good it's just on the ground steady sweetheart oh you've not met the windmill before my mum and dad have put a windmill in should be interesting I don't think you'll care to be honest We've seen big windmills, haven't we? Steady, that's just the car. Just the car, you're all right. Well, this is pleasant. <laughs> Let's tell them where we're going, eh? Because it's quite a spicy day. We should probably tell them where we're off to. See, now we're out and about. Perfect horse. See? And you enjoy going out, so I don't think it's stressy about going out because you look at you, ears forward, keen, on a loose rein. Like that's not a horse that's not enjoying or being really passive. It's not like you've got you like just defeated. You're still umphy. So yeah. Continued work on the stressy ground estrid for 2024. I think it will be my life's work, eh Estrid? Look at you, just trotting through water. Are you going to be an event pony? Well done, good girl. Right, this is the big old hill, Estrid. How far up do you reckon you can go? I reckon almost to the top. Hey, okay. I reckon you'll get almost to the top. You're all right. Just some big flappy bags. That's a drain. She's a steep one. Oh, you almost made it to the corner. Well done, that's not bad going. Hey. Okay. 
time to go up into the mountain. Hey sheepy. Oh, you're a very nice sheep. How are you doing? All right, when we get around this corner, it's gonna be blowy, but we've only got half a mile and then we turn back into a valley. So you'll be all right, yeah? You're a little trooper. You can have a little canter up here if you want. Good girl. And look at Kate. Oh, there's birds of prey everywhere, Astrid. Give her a little. Good girl. I'm really proud of you. Hey, I'm really proud of you. Find that stone. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna have to get off because the ski isn't good. Out the wind now, sweetheart. I told you it wouldn't be long. Look at that. Good work. So well, maybe we'll be able to do it on the horseback. We'll see. I don't think we will. It's not the easiest. Hey. Good girl. No, no, no. Move a little bit. Actually, we'll get off, shall we? Oh. Well done. You're doing so well. Wow. It's just getting worse, Astrid. The weather was predicted. It must be getting up to late. You're such a mountain goat. I'm actually quite surprised how forward and good you're being. Are we going to walk through this or jump through this? Jump. Okay. Well done. A mirror. <laughs> it's a mirror. So when people pull out their drives, they can see who's coming. There's always a little terrier that barks here as well. So don't be surprised if that comes for you. It's just a mirror with that. <laughs> You're funny. Right. Look at that water go. You ready? Come on then. Let's go. Well done. You're a good girl. Have a nice warm bath. Wrapped up in a thermotex. And your dinner in the field with Whistle. Yeah? This is our valley. We're back in our valley, Estrid. You live up there, at the foot of that mountain. We've got to go all the way around and back up that valley. There's three. There's one, two, three, and then you have to go over that hill to get to the fourth. Okay? Yes? Not that you care. Look how disgusting this is! <laughs> Mingin! <laughs> We're almost home, Estrid. We made it! Good girl. Well done. Hey Maeve. Where is the whistle butt, hey? I can hear her. Did I got to see her? No idea. There she is. Hey Wiz. This is one wet saddle. I know Astrid. I'll go get you some warm water and then we'll give you get the sweat off and we'll be back okay let's just do one on in case you decide to let it go flying while I get the water. Let's get the worst off you because otherwise your skin will be funny okay Get the worst of this one. Okay, good girl. On. Just wash down your back legs because they are filthy. Well, that was incredibly soggy. Estrid is now snug in a rug, and I'm going to make up the feeds so that we can feed these two grey monkeys in the field because Estrid's so hyped when she's like the short eat. So I'm going to make up the feeds and they can both have their feed in the field.
munch. I think that concludes our very wet, soggy Welsh day. Happy New Year! And I will give you some of my 2024 goals, resolutions, whatever you want to call them, um, soon. Because I know quite a lot of you like those videos and I love looking back on them. It was really nice to look back on my video at the start of the year and realise actually how much we've achieved despite equal ups and downs this year. But yeah, so 2024, let's get this. Hey Astrid. She's there. I just want to get my dinner. Hello, 2024. Thank you.